Hi guys. So, have you ever wondered what the chemical difference is between something like lemon juice and dish soap? Well, those are two pretty different things. However, they do have some pretty specific chemical differences, and we're going to talk about that today. We're actually going to get into what we call the pH scale. So, what exactly is the pH scale? Well, all the pH scale does is measure the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. So, lemon juice is a solution with a lot of hydrogen ions. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. The lower the number, the more hydrogen ions there are. The higher the number, the more hydroxide ions. So, 1 to 6 is something we call an acid. 1 to 6. Anything ranging from the 1 to 6 range, like lemon juice, is acidic. Anything that is 7, like good old H2O here, is going to be called neutral. So water is neutral. And anything above 7 is going to be called a base. So something from 8 to 14, we're going to call a base, like soap. Soap is a base. So now, we also have things called buffers, which are just weak acid or bases that react to strong acids or bases to prevent sharp, sudden changes in pH. So this is our pH scale. Now, remember, anything that's 7 is neutral. Anything below 7 in this direction, we're going to call an acid or acidic. Anything above 7 in this direction, we're going to call a base or basic. Another word for a base is also alkaline. Just a good word to know. Now if you look up here you can see some examples of common acids and some bases. One thing you need to remember about the pH scale is that it is a logarithmic scale. So every time you go down one pH number you're actually going down 10 times that number. So take rainwater for example at 5. Now it's technically acid rainwater, it's not a very good neutral water pH, but if you go from 5 to 4 you're changing 10 times the concentration. If you go from 5 to 3 you're actually changing 100 times the concentration and if you go all the way from 5 to 2 that's a thousand times difference. So lemon juice is actually a thousand times more acidic than rainwater. So let's look at some examples of where things fall on the pH scale. Now, let's take something like toothpaste. Everybody knows what toothpaste is, right? I hope so. So toothpaste is actually going to be a base. So that means its pH is above 8. It's higher than 8. So it's on the upper end of the pH scale. Now, toothpaste pH is about a 9. So we can put this right about here, if we imagine our pH scale starts down here and goes this way, 0 to 14. Okay, what about something like milk of magnesia? Hmm, milk of magnesia is actually also going to be a base, and it's a little bit higher than toothpaste, so we can stick it right here. It's going to be about a 10. Now, what about NaOH, sodium hydroxide? Sometimes this is found in drain cleaner. It's also lye, what they use to make soap. Sodium hydroxide, a very strong base. We're going to put it all the way up at the end of the scale at 14. Strong base, very dangerous. Ammonia. Ammonia. What do you guys think? Ammonia is also a base with a pH about 11. So we can put it after milk of magnesia. Finally, something you guys must know. Blood. Blood. So while I get my ketchup blood everywhere, blood is actually also uh, going to be about neutral. So that means it has a pH of 7. We can stick it right in the center. Now excuse me while I go wash off my fake blood. Phew, chemistry can be dangerous. Well, while I was washing my hands, I used a base we call soap. Woo! All clean. Good. Thank you, base. Now, what about something like lime? Have you guys heard of lime water? Well, lime is actually an extremely strong acid. Its pH is going to be 2, so we can put it all the way down on the lower end of the pH scale. All right, what's next? How about acid rain? Well, the acid in the name kind of gives it away, but acid rain is actually going to have a pH of 5.2. It can range depending on the acidity of the acid rain. But remember, regular water has a pH of 7. That's way lower 
seventh and seven, 5.2. So let's stick it here. Blood is seven, acid rain, 5.2. And our last one, for example, what about your stomach juice, your stomach acid? Well, obviously another acid, but your stomach juice is also gonna be an extremely strong acid. Remember, it has to break down lots of different chemicals in order to process the food that you've eaten. So we're gonna stick it in the same category as lime, also with a pH of two, dun dun dun. So these are some examples of things on the pH scale. Our acids down here, lime and stomach juice. After that, we have acid rain. Finally, blood is a neutral at seven. After that, we have toothpaste, a base at about nine. Milk of magnesia, another base at 10. We're getting a little higher with ammonia. And finally, NaOH, sodium hydroxide, a very, very strong base. Now remember, as you go this way, your bases are getting stronger. As you go this way, your acids are getting stronger. And right in the middle, doo -doo -doo, you are very neutral. So. One last thing, before we go tonight, I want you guys to look at some acid and bases of your own online. Now, I want you to find out the pH of these materials, but before you do, make a prediction on what you think the pH might be. Then, look up the right answer, bring them both to class tomorrow, and we'll talk about it. So, the first thing I want you to look up is bleach. What is bleach? Is it an acid or a base? Write down what you think, and then find it out for real on the internet. Next one is saliva. That stuff. So, look up saliva online, but before, make sure you make your prediction. And lastly, bird poop. What do you think bird poop might be? Is it a base? Is it an acid? I don't know, but you have to guess and then find out. See you later.